so today's video is going to be a get ready with me on this look that I'm wearing right now so if you like this look just keep on watching bye hello guys and welcome back to my channel I'm super excited to be filming a video so today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me I'm going to be filming um, me getting ready nothing too fancy I'm just going to the movies with my boyfriend but yeah and I also wanted to talk to you guys about some things that have been bothering me a little bit and get some things off my chest a little bit um, just to put it out there for the world because I know a lot of people are watching particularly a couple people so I'm pretty sure they watch my video and I'm just going to put it out there or whatever because it's a little frustrating. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover X Primer. And I'm just going to put this all over my face and moisturize it into my face. I mean, massage it into my face, I'm sorry. And I use this in the winter just because I feel like it's really good for moisturizing. Because you know in the winter... You know, your skin tends to get a little bit drier, so I try to keep that under control. That way I'm not having any issues with um, my skin and my foundation looking cakey or sitting on top of any, like, nasty, dry buildup. I have to have this, like, Blistex Renewal. And these come in a three-pack, but I always get them, and I never use the other ones. I always just use this one. But when I run out of this one, that's when I tend to use the other ones, but I always go out and get more because I literally like have the biggest lips in the world I'm um, trying to think what I want to do what I want to what I want to what I want to do oh and I have no earrings on today I'll put some on later probably I don't know whatever this is me this is what you get this is the real deal no makeup nothing on and I love it I love my skin I think I have really good skin and I love myself and you can't tell me nothing about myself that I don't already know especially with my flaws so um all right what did I want to talk about okay so a little update oh I'm going in with the Nivea post um this is the post shave bomb insensitive and this has glycerin in it and I don't know if you guys know but glycerin is actually a skin protectant and what it does it's like a little it's basically like a it creates a barrier so that like whatever like you put on your face this is if you think about it like you know guys use this for like after they shave so obviously it's supposed to be you know good for your skin so it has glycerin like I was saying and it's just uh, it helps adhere like the foundation to your skin okay so where do I start because there's so much I need to talk about okay so first and foremost what I do for a living okay so let me make this a little clear. I am not a stay at home mother. I do not sit at home and I just, I'm not the type of person to sit around. I like to do things, I like to be productive and I don't like living off other people or having to ask anybody for anything and I don't like to need things and I don't like to want things and not be able to get them. So basically, um, I, I work, like I work and I'm a dispatcher. I work four days one I work four I work four eight so basically I work four days straight and it's um eight to eight and then recently I got a position at um the a-list studio Hello. in Mana shopping center as the makeup artist there so I'm gonna be working there so I'm gonna have two jobs and then on top of two jobs is uh, and, and then with having two jobs I also have my YouTube which I'm trying to stay consistent with and um, keep posting up and stuff like that because I don't want to start and then have to stop like that's really going to upset me especially because this is like really what I enjoy doing the most I mean obviously like I love applying makeup and putting on makeup and stuff like that and I really do like putting makeup on like you know doing makeup on, on other women and men and making them feel pretty because there's really nothing like being able to do makeup on others and make them feel really good and excited and amazing you know what I mean so I definitely do enjoy that but um at the same time I like to be in my own home 
I like to be in the comfort of my own home. Like, I like the fact that I can be myself here and I don't have to front for anybody or be more professional or be less crazy or whatever. Like, I could be Nina. And I like that. So that's kind of why... I don't want to take away from YouTube. Like, I don't want to take away from my supporters and my subscribers because, like, I pretty much do this for you guys. Like, I mean, obviously I do it because I enjoy it, but I do this because I want to help people um, learn how to put makeup on and I want to help people just... I just like to be here. Like, this is what I love to do. Like, I'm happy. It makes me happy. Like, I don't care about nothing else. So that's why, like, I wanted to get in camera. I wanted to get in front of camera and explain that because a lot of people were a little confused about it. And, um, they were just asking me, like, all these questions. And, like, there were girls saying that they wanted to start their own YouTube channel. And I think it's awesome. Like, listen, I'm a type of person that I don't hate on nobody and if you're doing the same thing I'm doing more power to you like why do I feel why would I have to feel like I need to compete with with anybody like everybody is different everybody has different values everybody has different morals everybody has different opinions everybody has different views on things and you're not always gonna make somebody happy and you shouldn't care like especially when <sighs> that same person is being negative and constantly bashing you like why would you care about what they feel and what they think like they obviously don't see you in the way that everybody else that supports you sees you so why should you matter let that shit just blow with the wind nobody got time for that shit like bye bitch if you have that much time and effort to put into somebody else's life imagine what you can do for yourself if you put that same type of dedication to yourself and you get your own shit together and stand on your own two feet. Seriously, that's how I feel about it. You know, at the end of the day, like I said before, people are weird. They're going to do dumb shit. Like, it is what it is. I don't judge nobody because I'm not perfect and I'm nobody to judge. But what I, what I, what I won't tolerate is negativity on my page. Um, people commenting, somebody comments. Some somebody some random girl commented on my pictures. I mean on my posts. All this dumb shit. I don't know. It it was just dumb stuff. Like I honestly I didn't even read it. That's why I really can't explain it. I just don't have the time for it. Like I will not go out of my way to make myself notice or make some make people look at somebody a certain way. For instance, if I don't like you, I don't like you. That's as far as it goes. I'm not going to find, I'm not going to go out of my way to say something to you and I'm not going to sit up here and go out of my way to bash you. Like I don't care. You know what I mean? Like I've done things in the past that I'm not proud of, you know, with that social media shit and like basically just putting myself out there for people to think that I'm crazy and evil, but everybody goes through shit and you know what I mean? Like, nobody's perfect. It is what it is. Like, that doesn't, that, that does not mean that you're the same and you stay the same. Like, everybody progresses and everybody changes. And I feel like I've come a long way. And I feel like I don't have shit to prove to nobody because at the end of the day, I hold my own ground. I pay my own shit. I do what I need to do as a mother for my kids. And I as long as my kids and my man are happy, everybody else can kiss my ass like for real for real that's just how I feel about it and I don't feel guilty to say that and I don't feel bad this is my channel and the, these are my videos this is the time that I'm spending and I'm putting out and I'm not going to change who I am for nobody that's just what it is so you can either like it or you don't have to like it unsubscribe there's the door don't let it hit you on the way out I don't care period point blank so I just wanted to get that out of the way for any negativity that comes my way I'm not paying attention to it so you might as well just might as well just feel what you feel keep it to yourself I don't care I don't want to hear it it don't got nothing to do with me leave me out of your life go on about your business and don't worry about me and everything will be cool pretty much what I gotta say towards that now as far as, I'm trying to figure, I'm looking around because I'm trying to find an eyelid color. I don't know if I want to use this. So, I'm sorry. I was, I went in, I've been going in with the Morphe palette. This is the Morphe Bronze palette. And they actually were just back in stock. And then they, they are out of stock now. Like, literally, people love, 
they love these i mean these palettes are amazing if they come back in stock you guys should get them i believe they're 14 dollars, and they come with like all these shades and you have so many different varieties of shades that you can use you can use them on clients you can use them on youtube you know for yourself you can do whatever like they're just amazing i love them and you can even contour with some of these shades and i know it sounds crazy but let me tell you you can trust me because when i have an eyeshadow palette however i can use it i use it like i girl use that damn eyeshadow palette Oops. so i'm gonna go in and i actually picked up these um color um it says color cleaner and there are um makeup brush cleanser and then it just looks like this and like let me see if i can take it out it just looks like this you know those you know what these remind me of those little things that they use to make the buns for your hair those little bun makers that's what they remind me of i swear to god it's like the same material i'm not kidding and what you do is you just kind of swirl it and it gets like whatever product is off. And then I just wanted to do that because what I wanted to do was just blend out what I have on my eyelid right here. So that it doesn't look crazy. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Um, obviously this video is going to be a little bit longer than normal. So yeah, you might as well grab a snack, pause, grab a snack, eat some pizza, some wings. Because I oh, want to tell you that's what my ass is going to eat after I leave here because I'm starving. Um... Ugh. All right, so that's that. You guys, my camera just died. It literally just disrespected me and died. No, I forgot to change out my battery from when I made the last video. So what I'm going to do is just blend out that eyelid color that I put. And I actually put that, like, literally everywhere, even into my crease a little bit. So as you can see, it's just, it looks really pretty. Jeez. And I'm literally just messily blending this out. So it just went everywhere. I just want like a sparkle on my lid. Like I didn't, this is like more of a foil metallic. I didn't think it was going to be like that, but I guess I should have known. Okay. So of course, as I always do, that is literally the fallout that you get. So I'm telling you guys right now, if you don't clean under your eyes when you do your makeup, you definitely should. I always do. I don't like the... And I always clean around my nose, too, because, look, fallout gets on your nose, and people don't ever do that. I'm the one that's like, yeah. And if you can see, it's just basic, nothing crazy. Nothing too cray cray girl. So, what I'm going to do is go in with these two foundations right here. And this is the L'Oreal True Match luminous it's healthy it says l'oreal true match lumi healthy luminous makeup and this does have a spf of 20 and then i'm gonna go in of course with my i don't want to say tried and true because this is not my tried and true but this is one of excuse me the first foundations that i got into when i started doing makeup and everybody knows the l'oreal true match and this actually has an spf of um 17 and this actually has um gold shimmers in it like if you look really close to the bottle it has some gold flex in it and i'm in the shade warm w5 and warm w6 and i'm just gonna mix these two also i'm gonna take the l'oreal lumi liquid glow illuminator and i'm gonna mix these three together and i'm gonna do like a little cocktail okay so I just want to make this clear as well. I don't use a lot of foundation. Everybody always asks me, like, do you use a lot of foundation? Um, so basically, I'm just going to make a video of questions that I get. And I'm just going to respond. Like, why not? So I did one pump, well, a little bit of the True Match Lumi and a little bit of the, the True Match. Or I'm sorry. You guys know what I'm trying to say. And I'm just literally going to just sit here and just smash it all together. So, okay, one thing I do want to say is with the, um, the little, with this product, you have to make sure you blend it really well into the foundation because it will come out in chunks and you will have chunks of shimmers on your face. And it does not look cute. Trust me, it don't look cute. Okay, so... I'm going to take this Pixie Glow Mist with um, Argan Oil in it. And I'm going to take my little spongy thing. 
my little beauty blender spongy, whatever you want to call it. And it is damp. It's small. I just used a smaller one. And I'm going to go like this. I'm obsessed with that stuff, you guys. And I know I take really long doing my foundation. And it's because, to me, like, no matter how good or no matter how bad your eyeshadow looks, it's obviously noticeable. But when your face makeup, your base, like, your face makeup looks bad, it's just a done deal. Like, you might as well just go home and cry. Bye. See ya. I don't even like it. Because... That's like your foundation, you know what I mean? Like, it's like literally the foundation of a makeup, of makeup. Like, to me, that's what it is. If you don't have a strong foundation, you just need to stop putting makeup on. And I'm sorry to say this, because I don't want to act like I know everything and I'm perfect or whatever have you, but I guarantee you, um, honey, my, my makeup is going to look good. I don't, I'm, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to makeup, and that's why I say that, because I'm not going nowhere unless I feel 100% about it. If I don't feel 100% about it, nah. I will literally take it off. That's just the way I am. So, Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. As you can see, this product is very well loved. I love this concealer. It's so good. I love it so much. It's it's literally, like, amazing. Um, so I don't use too much of it. I'm not a concealer person. I don't like to apply too much concealer. I literally just do that much. And that's how I usually put the concealer on. And as you can see, I have dark circles, which sucks. Balls. But it is what it is. So I'm not going to say this is like a Q&A because it's not. Um, but it could be something like that. It could just be, like I said, it's just going to be a chit-chat, get ready with me type video. So that's just what I'm going to do. So I have my phone right in front of me. <laughs> and this is just my little... I love using this little thing to hold it. It's like absolutely stunning, stunning. And yes, my phone is jailbroken. Okay, so first question. Girls always ask me, how do I get my skin really smooth? And like, how do I keep up with my skin and stuff like that? So basically what I usually do for like my skin, um, I don't really do much because I don't have like, like to be honest with you, my skin is not prone for breakouts. So when you don't have skin that's prone for break breakouts, you could do a basic skincare regimen and be okay. So basically, um, your foundation is only going to look as good as your skin does. If you're not taking care of your skin, you're not going to have foundation that's going to look flawless because it's going to cling to patches. It's going to um, enhance any dry skin or dead skin that you have that you haven't exfoliated. Um, it's going to look really dry and just cakey and just a hot mess and you don't want that so the best thing for you to do if you do struggle with like skin that has a lot of like issues is to take care of your skin focus on your skin get focus on your skin get your skin to where you want it to be and work on that first that way when you do get that skincare routine and you kind of know what works for you and what doesn't. Then you can go ahead and apply makeup. But yeah, so basically you just got to make sure you're taking care of your skin. Uh, as much as you want to ignore the fact that that is the truth, that's really what it is. Your makeup application has to be flawless. Your skin has to be as, as the best it can be for you to have that type of, for you to have that good application. So if you're not having that good application, then you're not going to have good skin. And if you don't have good skin, then, wait, did I say that right? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, if, you, if you're not taking care of your skin, then your makeup's going to look like shit. Let me just keep it real with you because that's what it's all about. When we're here on my channel, we keep it real with each other. And that's what I'm going to do. And, yeah, that's just how I feel. Like, if you don't take care of your skin, you're just not going to have good skin. And you're not going to have good makeup. And you're not going to slay. So, again, take care of your skin. Make sure that you're moisturizing. Um, make sure that you're not using body lotion as moisturizer. Because so, yeah, just make sure that you're using the correct products. Facial. Facial products. Please read. Body lotion does not go onto your face, people. 
I'm just saying, you know, again, everybody does what they want to do, but don't come crying to me when you look like Freddy Cougar. Um, <laughs> anyway, so there's that question. I'm legit like going to make sure that I don't edit this video as much. Like I want you guys to see like the real deal. I don't want you guys to picture an image of me that's not what I am. So my videos are going to be real shit. Okay. So I'm going to go in with this Wayne Goss brush that is overly priced and I'm so mad that I paid for it. I'm so crazy. And I'm just going to take this powder stuff. You, It's okay to bake, but if you bake for a really long time, you're going to get a white cast. So try not to bake for too long if you don't really have to. I mean, again, everybody does makeup differently. Do what you do. I do makeup my way. So, again, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say it over and over. If you want to learn how to do makeup my way, then just keep on watching. Um, no, but honestly, like, that's pretty much it. Like, as far as skincare, stuff like that. Um, next question. All right, let me check. Alrighty, so the next question is, What setting powder do you use and why? Do you have dry skin or do you have oily skin? That's a good question. Okay, so my skin is combination. Um, sometimes I get dry and sometimes I get oily. I mean, it just all depends like on the day and stuff like that, like to be honest with you. Um, I got really into cream contouring for the longest. I was like literally only cream contouring. And then I would like lightly set it with um, a face powder that is a couple skin tones darker than I am. So I'm going to give you an example. So for instance, remember when I told you that I love to use the True Match? I literally have all the shades. And I use this powder because I really do love it. Like I love this powder so much. And then I always use my Sephora. Um, this is my Sephora Pro Contouring brush and it's the brush 79 and I love this one um I don't know if this one's still in the stores though because I got this one I used to work at Sephora so what I'm gonna do is real quick I'm sorry um I'm gonna go in with this elf um bronzer palette and um this is called Beau it says bronze beauty and I'm going to use these shades right here and these are very pigmented so you want to be careful and I'm just gonna chisel out my cheekbones you see? So I always start by chiseling my cheekbones out. And then I just, I do this. And that kind of just chisels out my cheekbones and it gives me like some structure. You know what I mean? And again, I turn to the side. I'm going to do the same thing right here. And this, because this side obviously is harder to because I can't use this hand, I always, I don't angle the brush down because if you angle it, it's going to get lower. So I, I use the pointy tip of it and then I just kind of just blend from there. And I literally just do the same thing. And you want to blend out like that. Because if you don't, then it'll literally just harshly stop right here and you do not want that that will look terrible you see Literally, my nose is just acting up a little not bun all right um so i'm going to take that same shade i used you just use all three of them i usually just use all the damn shades in the palette and then i'm just literally going to go against my hairline so you see and then what I'm doing is just basically creating some shadow there. And what this does, it actually makes your forehead appear slimmer. I mean, slimmer. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I meant to say it makes your forehead look smaller. <laughs> that is so funny. I love it. Um, but yeah, so that's what this does. If you're wondering why I'm putting bronzer on my forehead. 
And the reason why I go against the hairline is because sometimes, like, in this area right here, which, as you can see, I have... My hair is really thin right here. And, um, it's really light. Like, super light. So, um, I always feel like I look like I don't have, like, no makeup here and that it looks weird. So, I always go against that. And then what I'm going to do is just literally buff in circular motions and what this is going to do you guys it's going to blend the product you see when you see the shadow i can see it. i can see it i can see the shadow all right so settle down nina settle down as my boss would say settle down sabrina and then i'm gonna go on my jawline as per huge I love doing makeup. It literally makes me so happy to sit here and just talk to myself. Like, literally, I could do this every day, all the time, 24-7. The only thing that... Ugh, the only thing that irritates me is just the editing part. And it doesn't irritate me because I literally... I'm a little hacker. Like, I don't break my own phones. And, like, I love technology and I love the whole cell phone and computer and softwares and cameras and editing stuff like I literally live for that stuff just checking to make sure we look good girl um I just can't freaking stand the editing part like I don't mind it but oh it irks my soul yes it does okay so I'm gonna go in with the Zoeva concealer buffer and I'm just literally going to take this shade here because this is the one that doesn't have like shimmers as much and I'm just getting like that much on the brush barely anything and I'm gonna just go in the hollows and literally like this and it just creates a shadow there to look like you have You see? I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's what I do. And that's pretty much literally all I do for, like, contouring my nose. Because, again, if I literally had a chance to get, like, surgery for my nose, I would. I don't give a fuck what anybody got to say. Like, I just wish that my nose was, like, different. But, I mean, I still love myself. Like, I'm very confident in myself. I think I'm a very pretty girl. And I think I'm the shit. Like, you can't tell me nothing about myself that is going to make me feel like, oh, eh, nope. Bitch, please. Sit the fuck down. You can't tell me shit. So then what I do is I take a little bit on the tip of my nose underneath. And then what that is going to do is just make your nose appear shorter. So that's pretty much it. And I actually really like this um, more than I like the Kat Von D and the Anastasia Beverly Hills because of the shades and how I use them. I'm not saying I like them better as in I would pick them over this um, for everybody and I feel like everybody should get this and they will like this more. I'm just saying for me and how I use it, I feel like it's a really good, it's a good palette for me because of how I use the shades. You know what I mean? All right. So then we're going to go back in. And not go back in, but we're going to go back to this True Match. And this is in the shade um, N8. I'm sorry. Um, it says N8 ink, and it's Cappuccino. Yeah, Cappuccino. And I'm going to use the same brush. And this is pigmented. So this is the downside to having these. Um, I'm not going to use the same brush. I lied. I'm going to switch to my Morphe M403 brush. And I'm going to use this brush and I'm lightly going to tap. And it already has a bunch of product. I don't know if you can see it. You can see. See if you can see it. You see? Look at that. I literally. And you want to tap off what you can. And then what you're going to do is just literally quickly like this. And I'm not. That's literally all I'm using. I, again, this is just a neutral. Let's go somewhere type look. I'm just trying to get out of the house and look decent. I don't want to um, 
I'm not trying to like slay or nothing. I mean, even though I always slay, but <laughs> I just want to look put together. So I'm going to take some against my forehead and just blend. You always need to blend. And then we're just going to blend the cheeks. And that's what I do. And sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, because I'd be lying if I say all the time, but sometimes I'll just do that as well. Baby's home. Okay, so, all right. So as far as eyebrows, I usually, you guys know how I do my eyebrows, so I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna do it on camera for you guys to watch. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is what I use all the time. I literally won't use nothing else because I don't know. I like it. I like it because the product is very dried out. So literally, literally, you can't really get much out of here. This is it. You see? It's super dried out. So that's one of the main reasons why I like it. And then I'm going to go close up. And I'm going to do my eyebrows on camera. So the next question I got is... I want to start a YouTube channel, and this is Melissa, Melissa Rodriguez, and she said, I want to start a YouTube channel, hold on, I'm trying to read it on the screen here, let me just, give me a second, she said, I want to start a YouTube channel, but I don't know if it's something I really want to do, what made you want to start YouTube, and how do you feel after being a YouTuber for a couple months? Okay, um, all right. So actually, I started doing YouTube a year and a half ago. Like, I actually started my channel a year and a half ago, and I had a couple videos posted up, but I wasn't really, like, I don't want to say I wasn't proud of the videos, but I just felt like I needed to, like, leave the last video because that was, like, my best video from that like time and um I just didn't want to delete like that video I felt like it was like the best one from the time that I actually started my YouTube channel and what made me want to start it is just the fact that I don't really go out at all um very rare it's very rare that I go out uh I don't drink and um, I don't drink because I choose not to. I've never really been a drinker. And also, I still breastfeed my son. And he is two years old. His birthday is February 1st. Malia's is February 3rd. And he literally just turned two. So, obviously, that's, you know, a reason to not drink. But even with that being said, because he doesn't drink during the day, it's just like a nighttime thing. Um... You know, he just does it. I think he, by now, he kind of just does it for comfort. So, that's one of the main reasons why I don't really drink. And I don't go out because I just, I don't know. I'd rather be home. It's just not my thing. Like, I don't, I don't have fun when I go out. Like, it's literally just, I would literally rather be sitting here filming a video for you guys. Like, than to be going out. That's me, though. That's just me. A lot of people like to go out, and they like to be around that type of environment. But I feel like you don't get nothing from it, and I just don't like it. Like, I don't, I don't, and don't get me wrong, though. Like, I do go out sometimes, like, when my mom, when my, like, mom and my sister be like, hey, you want to go out? You know, let's go get a couple drinks or whatever have you. And I'm like, mm, you know, I'm not drinking. They be like, we know, but just come out or whatever, just to hang out with them and talk to them and have, like, girls like a girl's night and drinking and stuff like that but we really do that because like my mom and my sister and all of us like we are very hard working like we work a lot and especially like with a dispatching job like it's tough being a dispatcher is so hard it's just nerve-wracking and it's crazy and 
and it's you know you get phone calls and you're just like you know but it's tough it is what it is but um i feel really blessed to have that job and i just feel very like good that i can take care of my kids and do things for myself i don't have to depend on nobody else's money or anybody else to take care of myself i can literally do it by myself and the reason why i'm very proud of that is because i feel like a lot of people my age depend on other things and other you know depend on men and you know they depend on their parents and i don't have that luxury of being able to like go back to my mom's house or anything like that so i gotta make it on my own um, although I do have, you know, my, my boyfriend or whatever, he's great. Like, he does his part, I do my part, and that we work, like, we work through any issues or whatever. Because, you know, no relationship is perfect. So, he's great. Like, I literally couldn't be happier. Like, I'm just so happy and things are amazing and I feel like I'm very blessed in that department. Um, but as far as like job wise, it's tough. Like, and having, you know, three kids, cause I have three kids. Um, I have Aiden and then I have Malia and then I have Damon and they're just wonderful kids. They're very smart. Um, I love them. They're, they're just so fun and it's just, it makes me so sad to watch them grow up. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It just breaks my heart cause they're like getting so big and like, I'm like yeah. and they're like, it's just so it's just ugh, it makes me sad but i mean it is what it is you know because i'm gonna put some blush on so um as far as blush i don't usually um use blush i'm not a blush person but i'm trying to get into the habit of using blush because i have so many but um back to that question because as you can see i'm very like all over the place that's just me though that's that's me but um um, yeah, so I mean my advice for anybody that wants to start YouTube do it start it I mean literally well, if every person in Lancaster had a YouTube channel, I would not be mad like uh, good if that's what you want make If that's what's gonna make you happy Fucking do it like who cares about what other people think? Everybody is gonna be doing the same thing at the end of the day. So my point is is that who cares if literally that is what's making you happy do it people get tired of it it's a lot of it's it's a lot of effort it's it takes a lot of dedication and this is something that you have to really want to do and you have to love because again i have a lot of friends that are from california and new york city that have youtube channels and it's tough it's tough especially when you have every time d and harry trying to do the same thing so you got to keep that in mind when you're doing YouTube because this is time being spent. And, you know, the time you waste, you can't get back. That's why I'm very, very picky on what I do in my time and how I do it. Because I'm telling you right now, if it's not making me no money or it's not something that I love to do, I'm not. Bet your lucky ass I'm not going to sit up here and waste my time on it because I don't have the time to waste on it. So... Just keep that in mind for when you want to do something. I mean, I feel like that's everything that you do in life, especially social media. Because social media is a hot mess these days. So, yeah. All right. So, that's pretty much the look as far as, like, anything crazy. Obviously, I'm going to go in with, um, uh, I might as well just show you. the. This mascara is bomb. I love it love 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 it it is the i'm sorry it's the maybelline big colossal shop mascara i'm just gonna go in i'm gonna put some mascara on and i'm just gonna use this mirror to zoom it girl zoom it zoom it i don't have to use a mirror that's in front of me i have a mirror in front of me you guys and this is what i look at when i'm doing my makeup that way you guys can see me all right I'm just going to do this. Irregardless as to what anybody thinks about it, they're not the one putting the time into it. They're not the one wasting their time if that's how they feel. People are always going to have something to say. Always, no matter who it is. Fuck them. That's how I feel, it. feel about it. Because you know what? If you live your life through other people, you'll never be happy. Never be happy. That's why... I mind my business, I go to work, 
I attend to my man and I do what I love and that's makeup buying makeup collecting makeup this room is like heaven to me I love it I try to keep up with all the new stuff that's coming out that way in case you guys want it and you guys don't know if it's good Shit. <laughs> In case you guys want to know if it's good or if it's worth buying. Because, you know, people don't, like, a lot of people don't have that much money to buy makeup. So, like, who the hell wants to buy something and it be, like, extremely expensive, but they don't like it? <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so, as you can see, I got mascara there. So, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to just blend it off when you let it dry it'll just blend off see anyway so yeah whatever so this is pretty much the look this is usually what i do like all the time and um i'm gonna go on with this lip gloss this is the essence lip gloss um i did a haul on this if you guys don't already know and this is actually liquid lipstick. It's not lip gloss. So get your shit together. Yeah. And this is like a pinky undertone. So I feel like it's going to go well with... La, 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 la. I feel like it's going to go well with my eyes. Girl. What is it? Ow. Oh, it's skin. Yeah. So this is what I'm doing. It's so pinky. I look like a Barbie. So then, of course, I got to do my lower lash line because, girl, that's going to make this look come together. You see? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up. And again, I showed you guys the Pixie Glow Mist. And I love this stuff. It's amazing. I'm going to put highlighter on. I'm just going to have to put this on first. And I'm leaving my hair just like this in this bun. This hoi bun. This hoi bun. It's hoi bun. <laughs> That's how um, Aiden says it. Hoi bun. Um. Okay. So, um, for highlights. Oh my god, this is always my struggle. I actually want to use this highlighter. And it is a rose gold highlighter by Makeup Revolution. I'm going to take this brush and uh, oh it's so pretty I mean I'm not going to lie it's a little like whoa wow And you know what pisses me off about highlighter is that every time I want to do highlighter very neutral and very not crazy looking, it just never works out for me. Because then I just want to put it all over my face and my hair and everywhere. I love it. I just want to put a little bit right here and then a little bit right on the center of my forehead just to bring some light right there and then since y'all already know I gotta put some on my cupid's bow so because I actually already just like that and that's pretty much the look you guys um really quick so i might as well just kind of finish up this video um and just let you guys know that basically what i was trying to get at was that 
you know, if you want to do whatever you want to do and it's going to make you happy, just do it. Like, I mean, don't even worry about what anybody has to say, as I said before. Just do what you do and I guarantee you that you will notice a difference in your happiness. You'll notice a difference in, like, how you feel about, like, life. Like, literally, when you can do what makes you happy, your outlook on life and what you see and how you view things totally change you know all that judging everybody and all that always having something to say and trying to be like better than someone else and envious and jealous like just stop like stop because it's not going to make anything better like it doesn't make our world better when everybody wants to be like each other be your fucking self um do what you do do what makes you happy and don't worry about anybody else and you will notice a difference and i lied i'm like a girl that under corner highlight needs to be popping i'm gonna take this wet and wild illuminating palette and this palette is so pretty i'm about to like literally pee my panties because like i know this thing is gonna be lit i hope so all right so i'm gonna go in with this peachy and Uh, that kind of didn't do much. Really? I don't know, like, you see it? I mean, it's uh, kind of glowing. But I feel like it could be better. I mean, I guess it is. Maybe it's just the color. I'm sorry about that, you guys. People don't respect me. And they want to message me while I'm doing videos. While I'm doing all that, I am. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. They're kind of gleaming. I love my inner corners to be, like, popping. Because it's just, like, it's just, I just love it. Literally. So, can you see it a little bit? Thanks. Thanks, Wet and Wild. Mm. Whatever. So, I'm over it. I'm not even gonna... I was gonna take the same highlighter I used on here, but I wanna, like, not have the same sheen on my face everywhere. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I was trying to say. Like, just do you. Do you, and don't worry about what other people have to say, because you'll be happier. Um, guys, and I'm sorry if I'm, like... I hate messes. If anybody knows me... Personally, they know I don't, I don't, this room can literally not be messy at all, or I literally lose my fucking mind. That's it. If you guys are wondering, this shirt that I have on is a Yeezy Tour shirt. Um, yeah, it's just a little cute, little like brown sweater. And, um, I just have my hair in a little bun. There's no extensions. This is my real hair. My hair is super long, like legit, holy shit long. I want to like do my hair gray like I want to do that like gray color but I'm scared that it won't look right so I don't know because I see a lot of people with it and I feel like it looks great on them and they have like light skin and like they're like dark skin so I feel like it will look good on me I just need to try it I guess to see if it'll look good on me if not then I don't know but I know that I'll never go back to black so oof, never but um yeah as far as that or whatever yeah um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say in the video uh yeah i just wanted to get that out because there has been somebody commenting on my facebook and just being weird like saying real dumb shit and i'm just not with it like bitch bye Ugh. i see a lot of good things coming in the year of 2017 so stay tuned because it's about to get lit i'm super excited we we're supposed to be going to California and then we're gonna be going to the Bahamas and then we're going to Paris which I'm I'm so ham I'm so amped about like uh and I, w I just I want to travel like I know that I can't because obviously I have kids and it's hard you know what I mean especially with you know I don't trust too many people so if my mom can't watch them or my sister or my mother-in-law mm -mm, I'm not going nowhere because I'm very picky on who I leave my kids with and um I wanted to talk to you guys also about that 
Um, I'm going to be taking their pictures off of social media. Um, I want my social media to be just of what I do. Like my business as far as like doing makeup, my tutorials and stuff like that. And um, I want everything else to be separate. So I might make, I might just take them off and not post any more pictures. Or I might make an Instagram, a personal Instagram of just me or whatever. And only have like a certain amount of people that I'm only going to add a certain amount of people because people are just weird. Like, I don't, they're just weird. People need to get their shit together. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. I just wanted to get on here and just tell you how I've been feeling lately. I mean, I feel good other than that. Like, I really do feel, I'm so pumped about the salon. I know I'm going to kill it. Um, Katrina's going to be working there too. She goes by Cat. And she's amazing. I'm going to um, link her Facebook down below. And also Sean Liza's and Myosha. She's the owner and she is uh, amazing. Like, I love my boss. She's lit. She's so down with us. Like, she's just amazing. Like, she's incredible. And you guys should check us all out. Like, we're all going to be doing different things. So, I definitely think that you should go in if you don't. And just chill. Like, have some wine. Talk shit talk about makeup hair nails do whatever you whatever we whatever just be women you know what I mean to have a good time I had no drama so I'm excited I'm looking forward to that I'm gonna be posting vlog videos so stay tuned for them vlog videos because they're gonna be up and they're gonna be fun I'm so excited so yeah but um yeah that's pretty much what I wanted to say so if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye